So I saw this message from Nora over on the Adobe eLearning community site, and I thought I would address it with a short video to hopefully answer her question, but also to be able to uh, share this knowledge with all of you as well. So uh, quickly, we'll just go into Adobe Captivate here, go into the Interactions dropdown. Uh, Nora wanted to customize the Certificate of Achievement widget or Learning Interaction, so I'm just going to add that to this particular slide here. And there is quite an assortment of choices of style that Nora or yourselves could select. So what I would recommend that you do is go through all these particular choices that are available, find one that's very close or similar to what you're hoping to achieve. Maybe this green one here is a good choice. And then you could click on the custom option down here. And of course, you could then import in the theme colors uh, or take greater control and uh, go with the default colors and then choose customize as I've done here. And you can click on content where you can first of all choose what style of font that you wish to use. So let's say we wanted to use active grotesque. I'm going to choose that there. And we can change the color if we wish to something more bold. Let's go back here and go to the header and change the text of that. Maybe we don't want something white, we want something darker. And again, we can choose the same uh, font that we chose before. Colors, uh, let's go with white for that. Something a little bit more contrasty with the background. And there is a signature right there. Let's just simply choose uh, something that we can use here uh, that would be appropriate for the signature. That looks pretty good. Let's bump up the font on that to say 18 points, something a little larger there. And uh, we'll change the color to black for that. So, uh, you know, regardless of what you think of uh, my particular style of certificate of, uh, of completion here, uh, you can clearly see that there is a little bit more customization that can be achieved here. So once you've got that, you can uh, make those changes and then import them into your slide and make that part of your e-learning course. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.